Okay, here's the mod guitar. You can see there that we're going to work on. Do the fretboard over and stuff. It's the DCPA5 Black. What that means is it's not real wood. It's a composite stuff. But it's a nice guitar. We'll dress it up a little. Put new strings on. Put some fretboard design on. Put that on here. Maybe do some vine. I'm not sure. Okay, here we're getting ready to uh, install the Zero Glide uh, nut here that replaces this nut up here um, and gives you a, a little better performance, I believe. So, what we're going to do My wife's yelling at me, she thinks I'm talking to her First thing we're going to do is score the nut up here so it'll break free when I hit it with a hammer. Try not to make too much of a mess. Use a sharp surgical blade. Nice thing about working in an operating room is the replacement nut we're going to put in. And then we're going to put a bar across here to create um, a new way that this is going to sit. So this piece goes in here and it'll replace that like that. So now it'll be like sitting on a fret. And it's supposed to reduce the buzz and stuff. So we'll see. But the first thing we're going to do is knock it away. <clears throat> so that pops almost right off. Nice. You can see the glue on here that's there. And then we'll be replacing that one. Let's see how they look side by side. It's about the right height and stuff, so it should work out good. I might not have to do very much messing around with it, and that's going to fit in there. And then the bar is going to go to several different heights you can use to get to the correct level you want to be at. Um, see, this sits in here, that sits in there, and then this is going to sit in there. And then the strings are going to ride, instead of on the nut, they're going to ride on the bar, like they're sitting on another fret. So we've got to first figure out this location, which is going to be there. And then we've got to figure out which height we're going to go with. These are custom made for this guitar. So we'll see how that goes. So we've got to measure it up, got to glue it up, we've got to trim it down uh, with a wire cutter and see which one's going to be best. So we'll be back. All right, so we're back again. Next thing we've got to do is uh, fix the strings so they're out of the way. And I come up with this idea just to slip a twist tie in here to be able to pull the strings down out of the way and uh, secure them so that I can work on the fretboard without the strings getting left. I'm going to change the strings but I want to do this work and try the height adjustment and so forth with the strings that are on there. So now we've got a set of files that we're going to use and just find one that'll fit on the flat here and we're going to file away the old cement so that this is going to sit up nice and tight up against the fretboard. And you can see there was glue on here where it was glued before and that's laying up against here so we're just going to file this smooth So it'll lay up there still, and then we'll file the bottom. Just happens to be a pretty good fit. And then with that tie there, it pulls the strings out of the way. So they don't get involved. 
Let me see if I can get that extra glue down. So that the, um, the new piece will fit in there nice and smooth. Just take this stuff off the edge. On here, on the end of the fretboard. Take all that stuff out of there. So it's a fairly smooth, even surface. That's that. Is the new nut. Oops. Got to put it in the right way. It's going to be, it's got to be filed down some. So we've got to trim this a little bit off the side away from the fretboard. So this side we'll leave alone because that's where the new piece is going to fit in. We'll take this back edge down a bit. A piece of sandpaper. So you can get that to fit pretty good. Not quite small enough yet. This is a pain in the neck. So that's pretty good. So we'll do a little bit more filing. Try to make this fit in here nice. And make sure we get all the old glue up and out of the way. pretty good now. It's nice and tight. And it's going to sit in there good and the size is already correct. So the only thing we've got to do is figure out which bar we're going to use. And that's going to sit on there like that. And I'll try I'll fit it. And we can take out this See if we can get the strings up out of them and see how they're all going to fit. That's going to fit there like that. I'm missing one. Stretch it over. That's the way that'll fit. So then we can tighten the strings and see how it's going to work. we get a test in before we glue it all down tight. All right, now we're back again. What we're doing is just doing the test fitting to see how this is going to line up. And now I'm just tightening up the strings. I don't even really care if it's in tune. I just want to make sure the strings are nice and tight and up to the playing string. And what that'll do is tell us how well this is going to sit. See if this is going to play good without any buzz. I think 
that's a good height. So I think this is the piece we're going to use. So I'm just going to mark it and then cut it down with a pair of wire cutters. So let's get a mark. Anyway, that's what we're going to do is mark it and cut it. So now what we've got to do is mark. Put a mark right there where I'm going to cut it. And then we're going to put a mark right on this side. We'll cut that off. That'll leave it just about even. Okay, so we're going to take a, we'll take this out, take a wire cutter and snip these off. I can do that as a mark right there to see where we're going to cut it. That one. I'm going to go in from those marks and then cut it down. So I'm just going to loosen the strings again. Take that out and we'll glue it all up. Put a cut down and glue it up. Now we're going to take this all down. You got it enough, out of the way enough. Not quite, huh? I think this twist tie idea is a great idea. I invented it myself about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> All right, so this is ready to come out to be glued. And this we're going to cut down. All right, so we're going to line this up with where we want to cut it, get it deep into the jaw, and give it a good cut. Bang, that's one side. And then this side, we're going to cut in the same sphere. And that's cut off. And then to smooth the edges, we'll just take and put it onto the sandpaper here. And take the coarseness out of the edge. So that there's nothing sharp sticking up. Take all the burrs off. Now, where did I put my piece? I put it right there. So this is here, and this is here, and this is going to go this way. And we'll put a little dab of glue in that, and that sits. I don't know if you can see it. Sits right in the groove that's in this nut, and that's going to be right on top. And then this is going to go into it. I don't know if that's going to stick out too far or if I need to do a little bit more taking it, smoothing it out. I might take it down and grind it down a little bit, get rid of those sharp edges. In the meantime, the dog is... All right, now we're back for the installation. I think you can see all this stuff here, right? Yeah, that's good. We'll zoom a little tighter. All right, now we're down. So we'll get some super glue. Try to clear off the edge of it. We'll lay a little bit down on the track where it's going to hit the bottom and then across here. And then we're going to put a little bit where the metal bar is going to hit. So that'll get held in with a little bit of super. Not a lot, just a little. A trifle. I'm going to lay this on here, into the glue track, try to get it lined up nice, because once it's in, it'll be in. All 
Alright, so that's down into there. That's there. Now we'll take the strings and use them to seat this with the glue. Alright, so we'll pull the strings up and lay them on and we'll tighten them up. lay in their place and this one the little guy and all that will press into place and it will see see if we can get this guy out of the way and one on that end holding then we'll go to the other side so we kind of balance the load different tight here Tighten, and then as that tightens, it'll lock this down into the glue, and the super glue can set up, and the nut will be firmly in place. off some of that glue before it settles and I think I got a q-tip here for that I do here they are so we'll grab a q-tip and give it a wipe underneath and we'll slide over and give it a rotation yeah I don't want it on there and I don't really want it on my face we'll get another q-tip Roll this one in and spin it too. This one's fatter than the other one was. Give that a kick in the nose. I got a two tip. Oh, let me get the white one. That's a skinnier one. Thing I'm working fast. <laughs> All right, there's a good, decent wipe with the Q-tip to get the glue down. Might as well throw those guys away, and that's it. So now we'll just tune it up and see how the action is, and see what we got to do. So we'll put the little stock tuna. sides. Alright, so there's the snark. We're up in D. Should be D. It's D. G A E. So now we'll just let that set for a while. Now the zero glide is all installed. What that does is help for the strings to play like they're playing on a right on the um, on another fret instead of on the, the plastic part of the nut up here. That's all that's about. 
So then we're still the same down here. Now we're going to take the guitar, take the strings all the way off, put a new set of strings, and then dress it up.